Another question that I had. With the opening of the new Anusara Center, it's yes. going to happen. Um, so that's part of the question. How do you see technology um, either aiding or not aiding the expansion of consciousness? And, and how do you plan with the new center to incorporate technology into it? That's a great question, too. Um, you know, when we, we hear the word technology at first, I think in this age, we often think technology is electrical, it's scientific, and it's somehow a little bit dichotomous from spirit. You know, it's like you have the further, further our technological advancement, then sometimes we have the implicit maybe idea that we're going further away from more of a authentic, uh, natural essence. However, interestingly, and you asked me about Shiva Shakti Tantra, the word Tantra actually means system or technology. Mm. So, you know, really, when, when one learns to align with the vibrations of things around us with one another, we can literally use technology to create more harmony. We can use technology to expand awareness that we are all interconnected even further. And in the, when we talk about electrical technology, let's say the internet, sure. um, this is to our advantage because even this recording right now, the, our conversation can be literally picked up by people in the far reaches of the world that are not going to normally have access to this type of thought or idea. And what that does, the vibration of our voices, the images, which are vibratory light going through the camera, right. are being received and perceived by others, and it's literally affecting their consciousness. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, our intention, me and you, Chris, is to <laughs> be positive and uplifting. Right. Right. You know, I get, I, we get emails literally from a, the middle of nowhere. Uh, two weeks ago, I got an email from like Far East Siberia, okay? And the person was just saying, you know, thank you for these, the, the teachings, but I'm so far away from a teacher. If I didn't have the internet, I don't know where I would be. And it's changed my life. It's helped me to come closer to my family. I feel closer to my husband, she said. Um, kind of broken English, but there was so much heart in it, you know? And it touched me, I thought, this is, we in Tantra, we use whatever we can to our advantage to enhance life, to affirm the goodness of life. It's a double-edged sword, you know, sure. technology is a double-edged sword, so there is a responsibility about using it. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm very aware of that, yeah. but for the center in Encinitas, yeah. um, I hope to be opening it very soon. Yeah. <laughs> and for me, it's like a sound stage. That mm. it's a sound stage that we can convey teachings that are coming in the variety of forms, not only of the spoken word, right. but when you just look at the art form of a body in a certain form, a pose, a dance, to have music to have other images, yantras, or just beautiful art that would be inspiring to somebody. And that can be used to go through an internet channel. Mm. It could be picked up by potentially millions of people. It is super profound that within a very short amount of time, faster than probably any other time in history, communication could be disseminated to shift culture, to shift the deep constructs of how we perceive the world. For it's really the vision that really is the ground of our intentionality to make art, to, to live our life. And if you and I present a vision that someone goes, you know what, that's really a neat idea. I'm gonna try to embody that vision and look at the world in a new way. You know, that's how things radically shift. I've seen it, I mean, from major cultural shifts of the Iron Curtain in 89, 1990, the whole Soviet Union, there was a dissemination of a new freedom. Um, and, I, you know, there, I can go with countless examples of that. Sure. But information can, can convey a, a vision that can really change things for the positive. And conversely, it can be used in a negative sense. So there is responsibility with this. Right. So at the center, you will be like broadcasting. Yeah. Um, Philosophical like, talks, asana yeah. classes. It's everything. It's everything. You know, everything. like I'd love for you to come mm -hmm. and literally we sit down and have like a 
a full show, like an hour talk, you know, conversation, right, 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 right. and even have maybe a live audience that could ask questions, that you know, awesome. wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, that'd be really cool. And, you know, and you can come up with topics that really are moving to you, right. and it would maybe inspire me as well, I'm mm, sure, mm. and this is what we do, and we bring, we can bring in other experts and other artists mm, and mm. other people with cutting edge ideas. Sure. Let, let's spread out the positive energy yeah. and, and allow people to think in new ways. Shift the paradigm for the positive. Absolutely. This is how we can use technology in a really exciting way right now. That's, that sounds great.